Well, Kate McAloon, welcome to the Wine O'Clock Show. Thank you for having me. We are doing something a little different here today. We are going to be cooking some fabulous foods from your Flavour of Joy cookbook that is out now. Um, coming into summer, we're going to do some lovely dips and your mocha, was it mocha something? A margarita. It's, it's a take on my yeah. margarita that I used to serve at Courtney Cox's, but it's non-alcohol today and we'll be putting culinary oils in it like lime and lemon. Fabulous. So we're going to give give our viewers some little treats today and what they can cook. Summer's just around the corner and um, we're going to whip up some lovely dips. Yes, we are. Yep. So let's get started. We're going to use our, our good sunbeam products today. It's amazing. There we go. Taking off lovely the Lovely red. So, so what are we going to make first up? A beetroot hummus, and I've already started the hummus because it's TV. And <laughs> put this in. Yep. And I'll give you something. Do you want to put in some beetroot? Sure. That'd be great. Just look out for your dress because it is red. Yes. Just probably half All of, of it? About half. half of that. Yep. And we'll see how this is going to go. Excellent. Probably a little more tahini. If they were going to make hummus from scratch, would they, what, how do they make hummus? So they would get either a can of cooked garbanzo beans, chickpeas in your country, yep. and or you can cook them yourself for a few hours. So I did use an organic can today, yep. and you'll put them in. Yep. And I use a little bit of tahini, some lemon. Mm -hmm. Sure. And a little salt and pepper, extra. Now we're using organic products today, aren't we? Because you're ambassador for um, Absolute Organic. Absolute Organic yeah. Echo Farms and Inglewood. Yeah, uh, yeah. Organic chicken, which I've got a delicious Ooh, chicken yum, spread yum. here. So yum. we'll try. We'll, we'll you try, try one? You'll try oh, that. Yeah, I don't want to have it in my teeth when I'm talking. <laughs> no, not at all. So a little bit of orange oil goes really well with yep. uh, beetroot. Did you just put a drop of that in? A couple of drops. I do it to taste. In my book, cookbook, it says one to two. Yep. Do it to taste. Yeah, yeah. Because so. one of the things I've noticed recently uh, in times that are changing, we are using essential oils in our cooking now. We are, especially when they're approved for eating like Young Living oils. So yeah, yeah. They're really great. So they're very, they're, you can digest these you oils. You can. Yeah, so. fabulous. This one's black pepper. We Ooh, just yeah. need a drop of that just to give it a little oomph. But again, nice. you can do it to taste. Yep. And then we're going to try our luck at this. Can be real. Oh, and a little bit of, I like agave sweetener. Yep. So instead this, of normal instead sugar. Of sugar? Yeah, yep. instead of sugar. Yep. Just a little bit, oops. Where can, the people find, I mean, can people find this re readily available um, ingredients? Or? Mostly all the health food stores. Yep. And, and Woolworths does carry, you know, some some organic things. But yep. Absolute Organic also has a website and a store in Homebush here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I'm closer. the best at it. Okay, there we go. Now, and I'm going to press start? Yes. Put in a little more beetroot. I like it to be a really good pink color. There we go. And that's about it. Voila. Voila. That was not hard. And if it had just been the chickpeas, it'd be about the same amount same of amount. time. Yep. So you just do it to a nice smooth consistency. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll both do this. Yep. And then just, yeah, see, it looks like that. Yum. Put it in here. It takes all of like five seconds. It really does, from like opening <laughs> the can into cutting. And you can put fresh herbs. I like to make a green one too. Yep. So I'll put spinach or kale and. Mm -hmm. Now, Kay, you are a chef to the celebrities. I am. So <laughs> tell us a little bit, how did you get into being a chef? I can cook naturally. It's yeah. kind of my channel food, I like to say. But it's a natural gift, and by accident, I ended up cooking for celebrities. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, so your first celebrity client was Karen from Will & Grace. Tell us a little bit how She's you... She's great. You, yeah. <laughs> um, I was in Kauai. Uh, I went into a real estate office, and I said, hey, I'm doing feng shui and declutter, except I'm a chef. <laughs> and somebody, I know, somebody came running out and said, we've got a celebrity client. Would you cook for them? Hmm. I did that for three weeks on their holiday. Yep. And then moved to LA, became their chef. Yep. And the rest of them kept coming. Wow, just word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yeah. And taste of mouth. <laughs> yep. We hear, we see a lot of, I guess, fad diets or you know celebrity diets online. How much of it is true, and how much of it do they actually eat real food, or do they actually only eat grass, you know, or air, <laughs> or whatever they say they eat? They do eat real food. Yep. They especially love organic food mm. and fresh. And that's one thing I became really good at flavor, but also using alternatives. Some do gluten free. It just depends on their diet. Yeah, yeah, yep. So what's our next, um, our next one we're going to make? We're going to make a really yummy guacamole. Yep. So it's fresh organic avocado. Yes. Or whatever avocados you may have. So how many avocados you've got in there? I have um, three, I think. Yep. 
but in my recipe it's probably two, but yep. depends on what size they are. Mm. A little bit of tomato yes. and onion. Yes. Now you've got a, you showed us a little trick off camera about your onion when you chop your red onion to stop the, your eyes from watering. What was that? I, I cut it in half quickly and I rinse it under water. Yep. And then I, when I chop it, I'll put it in something quickly. Um, like water? Oh, actually water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it takes a bit of the bitter out of it. So it stops the tears it from flowing? It stops yep. the tears. Mm. It doesn't stop all the smell. It also takes away the bite. Yes, If okay. you're going to use them for raw. Yep, yep. So it's really good. Yep. So a little bit of that. Yep. I've got a very small fork here on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May not get as smashed as we like, but yep. some people like chunky. A little bit of coriander, unless you don't like coriander. Sure. And you can use yep. parsley. Love coriander. Yep. Yeah, I love it too. And then I've got um, I've got a lemon oil. Yes. A couple of drops of that, of the Young Living oil. And it really, I should let you taste it before mm. I put it in, but we'll do that in the drinks. And then <laughs> lime's perfect with yep. it. So lemon, lime, avocado, tomato, red onion, and a bit of coriander. And then I've got, yeah, the coriander oil. Yeah. So only a drop of that. It yep. goes a long way to start with. So would you put your coriander oil in as well as your fresh coriander? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it gives that extra... Yep. Oomph, and I always like greens. Yep. So then we mix this really mix, well. Mix, yep. And try to mix. Yeah, with <laughs> Probably put fork. it in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need a potato masher. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a chunky guacamole exactly. today. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really good. Oh, yeah, and I forgot salt. I love Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's to taste pepper. too. Yeah. And pepper. Sometimes I do cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. Cumin. How do you say it in this cumin. country? Cumin. 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 <laughs> there we go. And there's a cumin oil too. What would but you I, have with these? So would you just get crackers or do you have... Oh, I usually would do a veggie prepared. spread. Yeah. 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 Because, and some of my clients would eat crackers. I'd put them out too. But that's how I started putting like my spread on a cucumber. Mm, true. Because they wanted, you know, no Something, carbs. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, cucumber is very versatile. You could use zucchini. Yep. Yeah. Now you also cooked for um, Gwyneth Paltrow and, and Chris Martin. And I did. I think your brief was... They eat nothing. <laughs> Which isn't quite true. That's how the press saw it. But they go, did. And go. That was like challenge accepted. How am it I going to cook? Were you one of these like mums that, you know, just chopped everything up really finely and put it in there so they didn't know what they were eating? <laughs> I did. But as I found out after about a week, they eat a lot more things. And they said, your food just keeps getting better and better. Mm. And I said, well, you eat more things. But that's, that was an assistant. So it wasn't them, actually. <laughs> yep. Uh, is there a celebrity that you haven't cooked for yet that you would really like to? Tony Collette. Oh, really? And maybe uh, who plays that? Hugh Jackman and his oh, lovely yes, wife. Yes, Deb. <laughs> That'd yes. be great since I'm in Australia. But they're uh, probably in Los Angeles. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Very good. That yeah. looks fantastic. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I know. I can't wait to taste it. I know. With and our... you can put a little fresh garlic in it too if you oh, like. True, so. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And so we've got our beetroot and hummus. Yep. We've got we our guacamole. A plain, a plain beetroot too. And we've got a plain hummus. To, yeah. I mean, that for summer. sorry, it's a hummus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for summer. There we go. Excellent. Now, one of the things that uh, Courtney Cox loved when you were cooking for her was your margaritas. She did. Yeah. And today we're going to cook mocarinas. <laughs> margaritas, <laughs> slight, yep. Slight variation, non-alcoholic mocarinas because uh, I don't drink alcohol, but yes. we're yeah. going to whip up some of those today too. So should we get our blender yeah, ready? Yes, let's get our blender going. So I'll... Uh, you move that one. Okay. Put it on ready? the floor. We're going to do a little oh, crossover. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> We've got our gorgeous sunbeam blender here to use to make our mocarinas. And that lid is on secure. You don't have to worry yeah. about it blowing, <laughs> no, blowing up into the ceiling. <laughs> it will not fly into the ceiling. <laughs> so a little bit of ice. So how much ice would you be putting in? Uh, per drink, probably about a half a cup. Yep. No, may maybe a cup. We don't want to get any water in there. Mm. Our ice has been on set a couple of minutes. <laughs> there you go. It's summer. It's melting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the ice in there. We already did some lime juice, fresh. Yep. So yummy. how much lime, or how much lime juice would you put in? I think it's about a half a cup in my recipe. Sure. But today I'm going to wing it. Yep. We don't want it too tart, so we'll start with that. And this, you made this nearly every Sunday at. Courtney's I made it house. every Sunday, and some people liked them frozen, some liked it shaken. Yep. Shaken they were and not stirred. Shaken and not stirred. <laughs> and after a margarita, everybody was happy. <laughs> so definitely adding. Doesn't know some how they come after a few margaritas. <laughs> It makes the day more relaxed. Okay, so if, to make the macarena, we're going to think, yeah, agave. So yep. I call it an agave, well, macarena. Yep. So we'll sweeten it because you want that sweet and tart. Yes. How much sweetener are you putting in there? A lot. To taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I should have my recipe out. So that's okay. So now we'll blend a little. Yep. This is going to get a little noisy. It is. Nice. Ready? Yep. So I press the button. Whichever oh, one you God. can see. Which one? Do I go high? <laughs> yes, definitely high. Or thick shake smoothies. It's getting really nice. Just a little burst. Yeah, it doesn't want to break the engine. Ah. <laughs> Oh, it just does, just it, does it every time. Oh, it's automatic. <laughs> I love your blender. It's great. It, has it stopped? It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna going to add now? Yes. Is a little bit of Young Living makes a uh, like a kind of a natural soda pop called yep. Zing. Yep. Or you can use sparkling water. Yep. So I'm yeah, we can add a little bit of both. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if I was just doing a margarita. I would just add tequila. <laughs> <laughs> is but, this our tequila equivalent? Yes, this is because it kind of gives it that oomph. Yes. And this will make it a little sparkling too. We're not going to put the blender back on. Because that not? will shoot all over. No, because it has fizz. Oh, <laughs> That's okay, why I did yeah. it at the end. That would have been hilarious. It would. Can you imagine? <laughs> they would have just gone everywhere. But the lid stays on really well, so. Now you've also cooked for the the gorgeous Yum. Miranda Kerr. I have, and she has this eighty twenty rule. She where, does. Yeah. What's her twenty percent look like? Eighty percent of the time she she eats well, but she's got a naughty twenty percent. Well, she does drink organic champagne sometimes. Yeah. There's one called Organic One from Gerildery. I know that's one of them. <laughs> Maybe a sweet. I'm not sure because I haven't seen the other side. <laughs> I've only done the You've good eighty percent cooking. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'll have to go look. Yeah. What's in the cupboard? Oh my God! There's chocolate. <laughs> there's nothing. Well, there is chocolate, but it's the dark good or yeah. the chocolate. Yeah. She has amazing products. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So what else have we got here? We're just stirring it, and then we're going to pour. Yes. I think we should pour and try. Let's pour and it try. It might be a little tart. Yep. So, okay. Do you want me to pour yes, it in? Yes, go for Let's it. Let's do that. Put that over here. Okay. So can see. We have lots of stuff everywhere. That and one? if it's too tart, we can put more sparkling water. So, Excellent. it's to taste. Coriander and the guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> Don't waste a thing. No. Put that back Excellent. on in case we accidentally hit the button. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So, that's our margaritas. Do we put anything on the top? I think it'd be great. Have we cut the lime? We yep. have. So. A little, little piece lime. of lime there. Come on. And how many of these would you make every Sunday when Courtney Cox would have her people over? Ah, uh, maybe thirty-five. Depends on how many people. Any, I, I had a machine that actually we've got that cute little squeezer that you yeah, were yeah, using. Yeah, I but I had a, a product thing that would do it automatically after mm. the first time squeezing like fifty limes. I was like, oh no, we're going to the store and buying something that does it automatically. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But I like to use fresh because it tastes better. Mm. What is it that you love and enjoy about cooking so much? When people are really happy, yeah. the look on their face and they go, mmm, it tastes great. Yeah. I really enjoy that. Mm, mm. And it, it just, that around a table, everybody's gathered. I love that, mm. especially when I'm sitting there. <laughs> do, you to, do you get to join in or you sort of... Sometimes, but mostly no. no. I mean, I prefer just to do it all and, and I have to see what's going on in the kitchen. Yes, true, true. Excellent. All right. Well, shall we give these a little whirl and do a little cheers? Yes, I think we should. Cheers to the weekend. Happy Friday. And thanks for coming on the Wine O'Clock Show. Thanks for actually coming on and making the gorgeous beetroot hummus. We've got our normal hummus and the guacamole. I love guacamole and guacamole as well as our mocarinas. <laughs> Cheers. I'll be making these these summers. <laughs> Delicious.